Hello and welcome to Shine Dubai, our series dedicated to highlighting inspirational and empowering women in the community. Today's guest, Zarina, is a creative pioneer of fashion design in the Emirates. Her previous collections have been inspired by Arabian Nights and ancient civilizations and are characterized by timeless pieces designed to complement a woman's sense of elegance and magnetism. She recently launched her first Pret-a-Porter line, Zaroon, with a collection titled Uptown Girl. So Zarina, you're really one of the pioneers of Emirati fashion design. How would you say that your designs particularly involve female empowerment, that element? You can see them, uh, you know, like, my collection is all about the female, feminine females. And I'm a strong designer. I love all whomever wears my collection. They should be strong women. Absolutely. Yes. Now, this, this collection for me was quite surprising. It's completely different to your last collection, where you had those Grecian goddesses yes. and the juxtaposition of the war footage. This one, take me through the inspiration for this one. Uh, I was thinking, you know, where to go and which angle to go. And I thought the strong woman, the elegant woman, the feminine woman is in 60s. So what I try to go back in 60s and show the women that time how they were, they were having, you know, the ent entire confidence, the beauty, the, you know, they had the originality in their exactly. way of moving, talking. So I wanted to go that so you feel that that period of time, the 60s, was a really important time in terms of freedom and, you know, yes. women's rights, that kind of thing? Yeah, because they were coming out. If you noticed in 17s, then they started to open. Yeah. But in the 60s, you tried, you can see that everybody was trying to, to look the best, to come out and to prove a point. So in that time, I took also the end of 60s, if you noticed. Mm. And I did not put in the beginning of 60s. I put the end of 60s into yeah. it. So a lot of people thought I'm putting 60s and 70s. People thought that I did 17s, 70s, but no. I went to the middle uh, range when they are totally becoming free and, you know, they are taking their time and the right to get it. Right. Now, I know um, Zarina in Persian means golden thread. Yes. What was your personal journey into fashion? Do you feel like this is something you were born to do? No, not at no? all. No? Okay. Not <laughs> Actually, I was a tomboy by the ah, way. Ah, that's yes. interesting. Yes, yes. I, I never thought I would go to this line. Never thought. Since I had my multi-brand store, and then from there, I thought that I have ideas that I, I want to show the people. So I tried to create my own lines and I felt everybody loved it from there I went. And in terms of being a fashion designer, in some ways it's quite male dominated. Do you yes. feel that um, for gender equality, what does fashion need to do? I think, I don't see it, it's a male. It's, it's a matter of how you create the things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a lot of males, in the, but we are still good. Women, we are still strong, trust of me. Course, yes, we of course, of course. It depends, you have to work hard. Yeah. You know, sometimes we women, we feel insecure sometimes we feel scared and that but i feel that it's to now for us no more we are there if you notice it's the time and everywhere woman is number one now it's absolutely i mean for you i mean you're obviously an icon for a lot of fashion designer in the emirates who are your icons your female icons are they humanitarians are they also designers um no actually it was my mother yes my mother because she was struggling in her life mm -hmm. and she made something for herself and all the time when I look at myself, I remember my mother. I feel I am my mother. And she worked very hard, and I feel I'm working very hard too. So I love my mother. Your She's heritage and your family have pushed you yes, in the right definitely. direction. Thank yeah. you so much, Serena. Such a pleasure. Thank you very Thank much. You. Such a diverse and fearless leader in regional fashion design. Now remember, if you have an inspiring story or if you'd like to nominate a woman who's influencing society, please get in touch. You can contact us at news at city7tv.com. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.